Yeah. Hello guys, it's me, Luis, and I'm back here again uh, with another AVC deck profile. I know it's been a long time since we posted a video, but I've been trying this deck at uh, some local tournaments and I've been doing amazing with it. I got first place on Sunday out of uh, six rounds, about 40 to 50 people over in LA. Uh, and today I came in second because I, I had a tie with some guy. Um, the deck runs pretty well and I finally got my second card that I was missing. So I think this is like the best potential that the deck has. And here it is. We have triple A, triple B, and triple C. You need to play these guys at three because they're your your main your main monsters. Also one unit driver, most people play two, but it's a brick if you draw it. I don't like seeing it, seeing it in my hand. Plus, if you make your combo, you can bring it back with ABC Buster. And then we have the Infinity Package, which is two Galaxy Soldiers and a Photon Orbital. I don't like three Galaxy Soldiers. It's good when you open with it, but I don't like seeing it in my hand. So that's why I only run two. And then we have three Hangers. Another three hangers and another two hangers. So all these cards are similar to this because they get your combos going. This searches you the union driver that you need to go off. And if you have these two, your combo is pretty much gonna go through. If you open these two together, then you know this sucks for you. But uh it's good. Let's see. And then we have some consistency cards. We have double, triple tactics. I was running three, but uh, it gets too cloggy. And most of the times you pull it off, but two is fine. And also two of these. This is the second card that I, that I was waiting for. Um, it's, it's the best card right now. And it digs through your deck to get your unit hanger into your hand, which is your main starter. And then three support cards, triple droplets. This card is nuts in this deck. You abuse the hell out of your pieces with this card and negate your monsters, your opponent's monsters effects. You can also use it on damage step, which most people don't do it. It's good. And then just, I don't like losing to back row on game ones, so I just play one Harpy's Feather, which you could also dig out with the uh, Prosperity. And now the hand traps for the deck which I think, in my preference, are the best right now. I play two draw and two Nibiru because this Nibiru hits Drytron and it hits Spiritual World, which I haven't faced. Um, and then this hits most uh, most decks right now, or at least the ones that I've played. Uh, it stopped the Dino Player. It definitely stops the Drytron deck. And then this also hits the Drytron, guys. Uh, this is the best hand trap. This is like your best generic hand trap. You should run in a three always. And triple impermanence. You, you can only go wrong with it if you play against meta. But since we have a lot of rogue decks in locals, so you should just run it. You can never go wrong with it. And that's the main deck. I believe that's 40 cards. Uh, extra deck, we have Triple Buster, uh, Union Carrier, Nova Infinity, and just in case, if you get stopped right here, you put uh, Mikawa, which is the same thing as Infinity. So this is your core in your extra deck. You need those to play. And then you have Masquerina and some, some targets. I st I'm still yet to find the the new link, the goddess, to replace with probably this or this, because you could take your opponent's monster. And then so, uh, a random rank, rank two. I was playing Dweller, but that, but then I realized I can't make it turn one, so this is better. And then you have the the access code ladder. So Phoenix, 
pop back row, uh, unicorn shuffle something back, and then just get rid of the rest with access code. And you could protect your pieces if you go into this as chain link three, so they can't respond to anything. And then to the side deck, I play triple cyclone and double lightning storm just because I don't like to play against meta decks or back row decks, any, any trap deck I hate. So I play these and then we have this. This hits dinos, this hits virtual world, this is Eldritch. So anything that banishes, use this card. It also hurts the mirror match somehow. Uh, when you go first and you're playing against a deck that has like a lot of fan traps or something like that, or or whatever they're gonna stop you with, just play the solemn package and the last random space. I decided to play a draw because there's a lot of dry drum going on, so just play that. And yeah, that's the version of my deck right now. I like it a lot. It's very consistent. And yeah, that's about it. I want to give thanks to Imperium Duelist, uh, GX Gamers over in LA, and then Battle Realm over at LA as well. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, any comments about the deck, uh, let us know, and we'll get back to you guys. And stay tuned for more product. I'll see you.